Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Math 171 online, uh, summer 2023. Uh, I'm Mr. Lee, I'm your instructor this summer. Um, so this is an asynchronous class, um, but I wanted to you know, really drive home that I'm here. I'm here to be your, a support for you. Um, I'm not gonna be on campus a whole lot this summer, but uh, if we need to meet together, uh, we can try to work something out. I'm also very open and available to meet uh, virtually. And um, I try to be very responsive to emails. Um, if you email me, I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Um, I'll be doing a little bit of traveling this summer, um, but sometimes I can get back to you within a few minutes. Uh, very regularly, I can get back to you in a few minutes. So uh, please reach out. I'm here to support you. Uh, also want to mention that um, we offer great tutoring resources through the Learning Center on campus. I can help you get set up with that. Um, and this is a, a class where a lot of students find having that extra support with a tutor that they can sit down and work with one-on-one, -on -one, they find that really helpful. So uh, I can help you with that process. We offer in-person and uh, virtual over Zoom tutoring. Um, so what I wanted to do, I'm gonna try to keep this minute, I'm gonna try to keep this down to 10 minutes, is um, just navigate around the course with you a little bit. My hope is that the first day of class, you can get really comfortable navigating Blackboard, finding assignments, um, really feel comfortable with policies and procedures for the course, um, and then you can dive into the content starting on Wednesday. So I have the pacing guide up right here. Um, so our class starts uh, Tuesday, May 30th, our first homework assignment is due Wednesday. The first day of class, what you need to do is navigate around Blackboard, make sure you feel comfortable with how to navigate around Blackboard, and complete the course entry assignment. Uh, Blackboard partially opens the Saturday before. Uh, what is that Saturday? So uh, it opens the 30th is a partial open on the 27th, but you can't access any assignments at that point. You can't access any assignments until the class officially starts on Tuesday. Um, so we'll, this is the syllabus. This is the pacing guide on the last page of the syllabus. We'll look at this again in a second. Uh, let's uh, look at our Blackboard course. And I always encourage you, the course, courses that you're actively in, to put a star on them so that you don't have to weed through a lot of Blackboard courses. And again, this says private right now because the course hasn't opened yet, but it will. Okay. <clears throat> when you log in, it should, and I'm in edit mode, let's take it out of edit mode to look a little bit more like what you see. Uh, it should land you in coursework. This is where you're gonna spend most of your time uh, there's some TI-84 calculator help. I encourage you to pick up a graphing calculator. I think it's going to make your life a little easier. Uh, and there's a link to the book. That's the book we're using. And there should be a link here. Um, if you wanted to buy it, you can find it here on Amazon. There's copies for around four bucks plus shipping. Uh, but most students just use the book virtually. So uh, there is a link to the book here, but each section that we cover, let's just look at 1.5, uh, there are lecture videos and then the text. So here's the text for section 1.5. Lesson videos, which uh, do a better job sort of chunking small, shorter videos, and then the homework assignment. So most students just use the textbook virtually. They don't purchase it, but if you wanna purchase it, you're welcome to. You can also print it if you want to. Uh, okay, and that's all from, um, if you go here, you can find the, the PDF. Uh, so this book is also the text that we use for Math 172. So if you wanna get the full text, this might take a second to open, yeah. Here's the full text for both uh, this class and Math 172. Okay. Um, you should see your left toolbar. If not, you can pull it by clicking the little arrow right here. 
Uh, there are announcements. I'm going to post this video we're recording right now in announcements. There's a start here tab. Doesn't have a whole lot. Um, the syllabus, which I already have uh, pulled up for you, but you can find it right here underneath the syllabus tab. Uh, and then the course entry assignment. The course entry assignment is very important. Please complete it on uh, Tuesday, May 30th, the first day of class. If you do not complete the course entry assignment, you will be automatically withdrawn from the course. It's not for a grade. You just have to do it so that you don't get kicked out. And you can click create thread right here to complete the course entry assignment. Okay, uh, instructor contact. Uh, email is absolutely the best way to get in touch with me. My uh, work email account right here. I will not be in the office regularly. I do have an office, although it might be blocked because of construction right now on campus. Uh, I can be flexible to meet with you, but the easiest way, best way, just email me and we can get uh, the ball rolling on any kind of conversation that you need to have. So email, best way to get in touch with me. Uh, campus resources, there are some, there's some information here on the Learning Center. If you need any help with the Learning Center, please reach out and uh, I'll, I'll make sure you get the services that you need. Um, Zoom meeting, if we need to meet virtually, there's a, that, that link can help us do that. Blackboard tools, we'll probably never need. The only discussion board that we are going to do this semester is the course entry assignment. Uh, my grades is important. Your weighted grade is a snapshot of where you stand in the class at that moment. Um, and we'll go over this in the syllabus. Let's, let's transition to the syllabus right now. So, yes, I go by Mr. Lee. The full name is Grady Lee Wilson Withers. Um, email, absolutely best way to get in touch with me. Uh, scrolling down, hitting some important stuff here. Uh, 6.30 is the last day you can withdraw from the course. I'm hoping that no one's going to withdraw, um, but if you are in a situation where you're not going to pass the class, it's better to withdraw than to earn an F. So uh, it's a date to keep in mind. Um, websites that we use, uh, we use a platform called MyOpenMath. MyOpenMath is completely integrated with Blackboard. So going back over here to Blackboard, when I open an assignment, it takes me into my open math you see uh, LTI is the tool that connects my open math and blackboard so single logon single platform integration so everything you'll do you'll do through blackboard there's no access code because of the integration textbook is provided on blackboard uh, I, I encourage you to pick up something in the TI 83 84 family uh, on eBay you can find graphing calculators for twenty dollars so uh, I encourage you to pick one up okay uh, there is a co rent course that some of you guys are in and uh, if you are enrolled in the co rent course and you drop or withdraw the co rec I have to drop you or withdraw you from my course too so please do not do that course description learning outcomes okay Grade distribution. Let's uh, we'll come back to grade distribution. Um, late work. Um, I don't regularly take late work, but if you have something going on that uh, you have extenuating circumstances, let me know. Keep me in the loop. If you keep me in the loop, I can work with you. So there's no blanket late work policy, but I can. I can work with you one-on-one -on -one due to extenuating circumstances. So keep me in the loop. Okay. Uh, there's no extra credit for this course. Um, if you miss four assignments, you can be withdrawn. If you're keeping up with the class, I want you to stay in the class. I want to see you be successful. If you're not keeping up with the class and you're missing a lot of assignments, I'm going to withdraw you. I would rather you withdraw than to earn an F. Okay, mental health stuff, universal policies, all that stuff's good. Okay, here is the pacing guide. And I think when we talk about the grade distribution here and we talk about the pacing guide together, I think it makes a little bit more sense. So 
if you print one thing this semester, this session, summer session, print the pacing guide. All right, keep it handy. Great way to keep up with due dates. Uh, so first day of class, complete the course entry assignment. You will see there is something due every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. The one exception to that is we do get a week off for the 4th of July, Independence Day. That week we get off. Otherwise, you have something due every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. You also have Saturday tests. So the first test is 610. The second test is uh, 624. It's supposed to be every two weeks. Independence week makes it a little awkward. And then the last test is due on a Thursday because Friday morning I need to record grades. That's why this one's due on a Thursday. Uh, because the first day of class is a uh, Tuesday and I didn't want to have something due the first day of class, you have a typical homework assignment due on Wednesday and Thursday of the first week. But generally speaking, there is a lab due every Thursday. Thursday is lab day. You want to look at a, let's look at a homework assignment together. So I'm just picking one. Here's 3.2. I didn't screen this ahead of time. Hopefully I'm not picking out something too difficult here. So you can jump around questions. And you know what? Let's actually look at 3.1. You can, oh, sorry, I just clicked uh, instructor view. Let's change that. Let's click here and click student view. Okay, you can jump around questions. You can try questions multiple times. So I'm going to purposely get this question wrong. Let's say, the, let's say we think the answer is math 171. So we're gonna enter 171 every time. Oh, I got the question wrong. I can click get a similar question and I can try again. So this time I think the answer is uh, math. The math class, the answer is probably math. Okay, I got the question wrong again. So I can click similar question. Let's let's uh, try again. Maybe we think the, que the answer is love. Love is always the answer. Nope, love was not the answer either. Uh, as you can see over here, the number of similar questions is ticking down. Let's try again. Uh, maybe fun is the answer. No, fun was not the answer either. You can see the number of similar questions is ticking down. You get 100 attempts on each question. I have never had a student in good faith to use all 100 attempts. Rarely does a student use more than 10 attempts. Let's actually try to get the question correct here. So six. Uh, negative four and six. Yay, I got the question correct. Notice I get a green check mark. Notice it says one point of one point. It does not matter how many attempts you use on a homework assignment. When you get a question correct, you get full credit for that question. There is no penalty for trying. It's okay if it takes you a couple attempts. What matters is you are budgeting the time to sit down and to do your due diligence, get the support that you need, and turn in really strong homework grades. Students that have really strong homework grades do really well in the course. Students with weak homework grades really struggle. Okay, that's homework assignments. Um, and uh, homework assignments are worth 30%, no, 40%, 40% of your overall grade in the class. Uh, if you go to my grades, you can keep track of your homework total and see how you're performing on each homework assignment. Okay, lab assignments 
are a little different. Let's look at lab two. Uh, you receive three attempts on each lab and uh, your highest lab grade is recorded. So, I don't know, that's probably not gonna be the answer. Let's say zero is just the answer for everything right now. All right, so I just scored a zero out of zero on this lab. That is attempt one. I now have two more attempts, so I can do my first retake here. It tells me right here, two more attempts. And my highest grade is the one that's recorded in the grade center. So, uh, homeworks typically on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday nights. Uh, you get unlimited attempts. Labs are on Thursday nights. You get three attempts. Tests are uh, every other Saturday, except for the last one, which is on a Thursday. You get one attempt on the test, and the test has a two-hour time limit. And it should tell you this. It tells you right here. Yeah, two-hour time limit. There's a timer in the upper right corner. Um, I don't know why it says I have my uh, clock set wrong, so that, that that's why it says 3:55 a.m. But you can ignore that. Uh, was the everything? I didn't notice the time was wrong. Was it showing wrong on the homework assignments? Yeah. Okay. No, nope. I got my time zone set wrong. Um. So, uh, assignments are always due at 11:55 p.m. Eastern time. I got the I got my clock set wrong on my browser because of my VPN. Um, so uh, yes, the section 1.1 homework will turn off at 11:55 p.m. on 5:31, or uh, the first lab will turn off on 6:8 Thursday 6:8 at 11:55 p.m. Uh, all assignments are open now, uh, especially during the summer. It's not uncommon for me to have students that uh, knock out the whole course in two weeks. So if you want to do that, power to you. Then you can have more space to do things that are not math class during the summer. Okay, um, I think that's the highlights of everything navigation-wise. If I've forgotten something, if I've overlooked something, um, please reach out if you have any questions. Please reach out if you need any assistance. Uh, please reach out if you have extenuating circumstances. Um, I can work with you one-on-one -on, -one on due dates. Um, but that's all I can all I can think of right now. So um, I'm excited about our semester together. Go in peace.